Hello everybody, today in this video, I'm going to show you how you can able to add authentication to your Next.js app. In this video, we are not going to use NextAuth or Clark, we are going to use Superbase guys. Superbase is a fast alternative you can add to your app within few minutes you can able to add authentication and you can just uh, write your front-end code and backend will handle automatically so in order to add authentication to your next app you have to click this auth and you need to follow the instruction as you can see here next this so if you click this next this and if you don't know what is the difference between authentication and authorize you can see here authentication means checking that a user is who they say they are and authorized checking what resources a user is allowed to access after authentication give a permission a user like admin can access some resource and others member can access other resource It's kind of give rule based permission all right so let's go ahead and try to explore how we can add authentication in Next.js. so if you take a look here in Next.js, you can see use superbase with Next.js, and you can see here how we can able to add if you take a look here npx create next app hyphen e with superbase if we just copy this command and let's let's get back to our vs code as you can see here is my vs code so i'm going to open a new terminal and inside this terminal what i have to do i just need to type this uh, command i have copy and paste it over here and hit enter as you can see my app is creating so let's wait and see as you can see guys our installation is done and i have run this app so if you take a look here file and folder structure we are going to be explain everything so let's go ahead and try to see how it look like so uh, you can see here localhost 3000 i got this error process.env file is not there so what i have to do so here i have created dot env dot local file so i uh, just need to create this file instead of dot env dot example if you take a look this file you can copy and create dot env dot local file inside this file next public super base url next public super base unknown key we have to get this key and url in order to get this thing what we have to do first of all you have to go dashboard as you can see and then you have to create a new project i have already created if you click here new project you need to select the organization so i have selected here the organization and I have created only two projects within this organization. So that is why I cannot able to create any other project. So I just, and after that, I just need to click the project. And then if I'm scroll down, you can see here project URL and API key. I'm just copy this project URL. After that, I need to paste this project URL here and then I need to copy this API key and on public key and here I need to just paste this public key. After that, let's go ahead and try to give a refresh. As you can see, now our app is working fine. I got error, hydration error. Maybe we need to solve this error, but we can cancel it so if you click here sign in as you can see sign in don't have an account sign up there you go so in order to sign up we are going to be used team mail guys as you can see so if you go over this team mail dot org you will get a team mail and if you paste this email and give a password one two three four five six and if i'm clicking here as you can see thanks for signing up please check your email for verification link now we'll get an email as you can see we get a email here is our confirmation mail so we are just click here there we go so we have finally logged in you can see here hey here is my username as you can see here is my mail is my user there you go and your user details here you go my user details 
and the next step create tables and insert some data head over to the table editor for super base project to create table insert some example data if you stuck for creating so we just need to copy so in order to create data this is our protected page so you can sign out just give instruction right so let's go ahead and try to so if you see here sql editor so inside this sql editor i just need to press this thing and run this command as you can see run successfully and if i'm give a refresh so here is now let's go 3000 we can sign out as well there we go and we can able to log in if i'm going to this 3000 as you can see i'm in 3000 but i'm going to this protected router Oops then i'll be head over to this space so let's sign in since we have account so there you go let's click sign in there we go we sign up successfully so if we go to this authentication as you can see we'll be able to see a user there we go here is my user you can see here last sign in and everything is here and we can able to see the database is there any table as you can see here is the one here is one table which is north we have created here it's very simple guys and let's explain how everything is work so if you take a look here here is my app and inside this app i have a page.tsx and layout which is as usual we can see our next project right and here is the project page.tsx and inside this page.tss, I have a sign up user step and connect superbase step. If it is an user, so if you take a look here, utils folder. Inside this folder, I have a superbase file, and inside this superbase file, I have a client superbase sr for client, and for server, I have a server. So if you need to use a server authentication, then you need to use this file create client and here is the middleware basically handling the authentication you can see here how everything is working how you can protect there you go and if you take a look here lips nothing is here and component means here using shirts and ui you can see here tutorials and all the other code so the main thing here you can see auth folder inside this folder i have a route and here is the auth page you can see here sign in sign up layout and the verification text for forget password you can see here page.tsx there you go here you can see all component for forget password so you can able to forget password if you click here there you go if you click this forget password you can able to add your email here and then reset your password then you will receive mail so that's very simple and you can add it within few minutes thank you very much and don't forget to give a like and subscribe